why can't you use your satellite or Foxtel or some TV cable for your helium miner setup? Keep it simple, keep it real. I guess that's a bit ironic because in this instance feel it might feel like keeping it simple means reusing existing cable that you have on your property and it makes sense to think like that but um, and the question I get is why not because people do know it's not a good idea but they don't understand why not and obviously a lot of people would still be very tempted to actually use existing old TV specific cable to the system so the, the rule is actually quite simple but I don't think that's always acceptable or good enough for a lot of people to, to run with and that is these cables, I mean, there you go, actually I have one here, CLF240 or LMR400 or whatever those types of cables, they're all 50 ohm. 50 ohm is basically a, a number that we use in terms of the ratio and, and the system, the whole system design from start to finish has 50 ohm which is a relationship between what we have as E fields and um, magnetic fields, electric fields and magnetic fields but that's, that's beside the point, that's probably too technical for the vast majority of users. So all you need to know is Helium uses 50 ohm system. Now on the other hand, what you have is the TV systems are actually always 75 ohm. So it's a different number. How this would impact you as a user is you actually have losses at that interface from a 50 ohm to a 75 ohm system, there's what we call an impedance mismatch. Impedance mismatch, if you think about waves that are traveling, it doesn't flow through at that point where junction where you go from your normal helium radio cable into your long run, that, that's your satellite cable and then out again. At those junctions, you will have a significant mismatch. That significant mismatch results in a wave flowing in and a radio wave reflecting back and a little bit coming through. And that little bit coming through at the other end, again, would have to have another junction from 75 to 50 ohm. It's going to have the same again. So it basically is going to be a total catastrophe. A lot of losses do not do it. You can get impedance transformers. So you can get little, little devices and they are actually quite expensive for what they do is to convert from 50 ohm to 75 ohm. And then at the top, you'll have to do again from 75 back to 50 ohm. It just adds losses. It makes it more complicated. I wouldn't just wouldn't go down that path at all. Um, now I just have another thing as well: connectors. So in 75 ohm, you know, there's a certain range of connectors possible. Those connectors are not what we use in the helium project. So that's going to be another big complication. So although you may say I save on using existing cable run, the connectors and and all the uh, mucking around from one connector to the other is going to cause some uh, some trouble for you. Um, and the other one is, is really the cable losses because I mean a lot of, not a lot of people, everybody and myself included, you're very focused on getting the lowest possible cable loss that you can get from A to B. The typical cables that you would have used or not you but somebody would have used to install in, the, um, in your building is probably not the lowest loss cable that is, that is out there for, um, for the TV system so cable losses would also be uh, worse. Uh, and I, again, not something you want to do but e even that just saying complexity about the cable connectors and the complexity about the losses that is secondary because the first one is there's going to be a massive mismatch you don't want to do it so that's kind of I guess my simple answer um, it's better to just go for a new decent cable from of course a good supply like out of shop but um, if you're anywhere in the world or even uh, wherever you go just use a nice low loss 50 amp cable and a fresh one I mean, I keep rambling on it. There's another thing as well that using old cable, I guess, in general, is not my favorite because you know the cable here, it comes out at the wall socket. You know there's a cable coming out of the roof, which is the other side of the same cable. What happens in between, what happened over the years, you don't know. So you don't know the history of the cable. We do have cable testers, so it could be in theory possible to check if the cable is good, but that's, that's a whole test setup that you can't don't just do every day so that's another thing and then a minor issue because I just go back say it's a mis big mismatch that's that's the beginning of the video and that's my last statement on the video and anything else is just adding more to the reason not to use existing uh, TV antennas for a helium setup thanks for watching if you have any questions let me know also what I just want to mention is we started the page so buymeacoffee.com forward slash David the high 
these videos um, are often shot in free time, spare time, and we also invest in equipment and material, so we buy items that we can demonstrate. If you um, want to buy us a coffee, uh, a few dollars is fine, just to um, show appreciation and support for what we do, have a look at the website. Otherwise, please go to our website, rfshop.com.au, for any questions and any of our products. Otherwise, give us a call, give us, send us an email, and we can help you with everything with that we think is necessary. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.